Now let's take the very first question of the session. A number n is divisible by 6 but not divisible by 4. Then which of the following will not be an integer? Okay friends, uh, we can choose a number that is divisible by 6 but not divisible by 4. And we'll uh, try to eliminate the options. Okay, uh, there is a number that is 18 uh, which is divisible by 6 but not by 4. Now let's see which of uh, the following will produce an integer. Uh, suppose n is 18 and 18 is divided by 3 will be getting an integer 18 is divided by 2 uh, still will be getting integer if 18 is divided by 6 will be getting integer if 18 is divided by 12 we won't be getting integer okay so this is the correct choice okay friends let's take the next question now in this question if the units digit in the product that is 4 7 n into 7 29 into 345 into 343 is 5 what is maximum number of values that n may take now friends we here we see all the numbers are odd numbers okay so if whatever the number n is it will definitely produce unit digit 5 if it is an odd number so how many choices uh, of odd number we have that is 1, 3, 5, 7 and 9. 1, 3, 5, 7 and 9. N can be 1, N can be 3, it can be 5 or 7 or 9. In any case, it will produce 5 at the units place since already we have 1, 5 in this expression. But at N cannot be an even number. N can't be even as it will produce a 0. Okay friends? So the answer is how many choices we do have that is 5. Okay friends. Now let's see this problem. Which of the following will divide 11 raised to 12,296 minus 1. Here we can write here it's 11 raised to 1, 2, 2, 9, 6 minus 1 raised to 1, 2, 2, 9, 6. So it is A raised to 2n minus b raised to 2n format that means a minus b and a plus b both of them will be factor okay that means 11 minus 1 and 11 plus 1 both of them will be factor that is 10 and 12 both as well okay so this is a correct choice no need to worry no need to calculate now in this case a, B, C, D are consecutive odd numbers. Then A square plus B square plus C square plus D square is always divisible by. Friends, do not think much. Just take examples of A, B, C, D consecutive odd numbers. That is 1, 3, 5 and 7. Okay, let's do it quickly. It's 1 square plus 3 square plus 5 square plus 7 square. So it's 1 plus 9 plus 25 plus 49. Okay, what I'll be getting over here is 9 plus 5. 14 plus 9, 23 and 1, 24, 4, 5, 6 and 2, uh, 8. That is 84. Now 84 is divisible by 7 and 4, both as well. But we have to eliminate one option. Now let's take 3, 5, 7 and 9. So it's 3 square plus 5 square plus 7 square plus 9 square. So it's 9 plus 25 plus 49 plus 81. So what I'll be getting here is that is 9 plus 5, 14, 14 plus 9, 23, 23 plus 1, 24. I just write 4 over here, 2 will be carried. 8 plus 2, 10 plus 4, 14 and 2, 16, 164. Now 164 is divisible by 4, but whether it is divisible by 7, let's see. 7, 2s are 14, 2, 4. So it's not divisible by 7. So we have eliminated 7 and our final answer is 4 only. Okay friends?